Biruz Okeno tukaomba msamaha kwa askofu Sapit kwa dakika, dakika ya mwisho nikatuma seneta Malala kwake nikamwambia tafadhali nendo waambie bishop Sapit kwamba kwa sababu tuna safari ya kwenda hadi Muranga na tumesikiza hotuba ya askofu mpya aturuhusu tuondoke kwa sababu kutoka kule ingo mpaka hapa ni safari ndefu kwa hivyo tulitimiza sasa mimi naona porojo wengine wanasema tulisusia mkutano wa bishop ambayo anatawazwa sasa mimi nikasema Mungu asamehe Yuda ameandika kwa sababu hiyo ni journalism duni sana haina maana we respect the church we were there for several hours we witnessed everything so hiyo ingine ni porojo we forget about it wasamehewe na sisi tuendelee na kazi yetu But the message is this. Why did we go there and why do we think the consecration was important? Yes. Aliletwa kwa dunia hii na mama Mary. Alafu Mary Magdalene naye na wamama wengine ndio wakaenda kuambia ulimwengu kwamba Yesu amefufuka. Alafu pia kuna mama Teresa. Kumbia akaenda kupeleka injili kwa watu zaidi ya bilioni moja kule India. Na sasa ni saint. Kwa hivyo umuhimu wa mama na leo tumekuja kwa harambe ya wasichana watoto wetu. We are sending a message kwamba we cannot move forward unless we walk hand in hand with our ladies in this country. Na tumekuwa tukiangalia survey. Ukitaka kuona mambo ya ukulima utapata kwamba it is the women that are the front line kwa mambo ya ukulima ukienda kwa mashule at primary and secondary level hakuna shida it's almost equal lakini tukienda kwa university intake na tivet our women are behind i'm addressing these young girls because we want them to be in front ukiangalia ukosefu wa kazi na hizi ni data ambazo ziko kwa Kenya survey ukiangalia safe wa kazi utapata the largest unemployed are the women ukiangalia the income of single mothers and single fathers utapata the income levels for single mothers is lower than the households that are led by men but the ones led by women the income is lower kwa hivyo mimi nasimama hapa kwa niaba ya wenzangu kusema we have no option sisi kwa ANC tunasema amani na uchumi bora na tukisema uchumi bora tunasema pesa mfukoni i want to tell you this maelewa nikisema amani mnasema uchumi bora na nikisema uchumi bora mnasema pesa mfukoni amani uchumi bora sasa hatuwezi kuwa na pesa mfukoni ikiwa tutawacha wasichana wetu na wamama wetu nyuma. Kubadili uchumi wa Kenya ni lazima mama awe mstari wa mbele. Hiyo ndio maana ya uchumi bora. Bringing everybody on board. Tusonge na hawa. Kwa hivyo sisi tuko hapa kusema hivyo kwa kisiasa kidogo Mimi ningependa kuomba IBC wakati wanaanza kusajili watu 
they must involve the stakeholders properly wasiwache wengine nyuma kwa sababu wataanza kuandikisha watu wapigaji kura pia tunataka IBC itoe msimamo thabiti kwa sababu kuna wengine wanasema kwamba kura itapigwa na huduma namba the truth is parliament has not amended the laws for the voting to be through huduma namba ni lazima tutumie ile message ya ID alafu naenda kupiga kura kwa hivyo it is important IBC jitokeze mapema ifanye clarification kwa sababu you might suppress the voter turnout kwa sababu kila mtu hajapata huduma namba we don't want that to happen pia mimi nataka niungane na wazetu hapa kwamba tuwe na amani hata Martha amesimama hapa amesema hivyo wananaji wengine wote wamesema amani hata padri alipomaliza hapa alisema muele na amani ama alisemaje nikoko natigo sasa mimi niko hapa na chama changu kinaitwa ANC Amani National Congress nilipeana hiyo jina kwa sababu tulikuwa na Martha Karua wakati Fujo ilikuwa katika Kenya yeye akashikilia kama team leader wa PNU wakiwa na Weta na Profesa Ongeri na Mtula Kilonzo na mimi nikawa team leader wakati huo wa ODM tukiwa na Ruto tukiwa na Sali Kosge na tukiwa na um, Ozit uh, Orengo James Orengo kwa siku 42 kule Serena tulikuwa tunajadili ili tupatanishe wa Kenya tusimwage damu tena wakati huo wa Kenya 1400 walipoteza maisha yao sasa tunasema hatutaki hata tone moja ya mkenya yoyote damu ya mkenya hata tone moja la damu limwagike kwa sababu ya siasa we should not allow that to happen kwa hivyo tukiwa hapa let us preach peace let us talk peace let us practice peace let us bring everybody together 2022 wakati mkubwa wetu uhuru kinyata atakuwa na maliza muhula wake nyinyi wa Kenya sasa ndio mtaamua ni nani atashikilia hiyo nafasi na mimi nimekuwa nikisema don't vote in angry leaders kuna viongozi wengine wana hasira asubuhi hasira saa sita hasira jioni hasira akilala hasira ukichagua kiongozi ambaye ana hasira ataongoza kwa njia ya hasira na akiwa na hasira mwananchi ataumia so my message to you mwananchi achunge viongozi achuje sawasawa all that glitters is not gold all that glitters is not gold viongozi wanakuja they glitter but be careful because see gold ingine ni fake tunaelewana kabisa mwanyita kwa hivyo mimi nataka nimalizie nikisema stand with us mimi nitakuwa mmoja wa wale wanatafuta hiyo kura kusharia na mimi nataka nilinde uchumi nataka tuheshimu katiba nataka wa Kenya waishi pahali popote wanataka kuishi wafanya biashara pahali popote wanataka kufanya biashara kama unafanya biashara kule chavakali pahali nilizadiwa biashara yako ilindwe kama unalipisha watu kodi hapo wakulipe kodi wewe uendelee na biashara yako that is the kenya we want na mimi na imani we shall have it there have there's no option hatuna namna nyingine lazima tuwe na kenya ambayo itaheshimika na hiyo heshima inaanza na wewe
Usiseme inaanza na mimi, inaanza na wewe. Point at yourself and say heshima inaanza na mimi mwenyewe. Kwa hivyo nimemaliza na kabla sijakaa, niko na marafiki wangu wengi hapa. Mtataja majina tu kwa wale ambao nimeandikiwa. Kuna mwenyekiti wa ANC bwana Lunani pahali ulipo hebu punga mkono. Asante sana kwa sababu saa imeenda. Kuna kijana wa hapa Simon Gekuru, one of the top officers wetu kwa chama. Yeye ni mzaliwa wa hapa Muranga. Kuna uh, Dani, wapi Dani? Asante sana. Uh, kuna Madam Jeruka. Asante sana. Haya. Uh, kuna Susan Kebaiko. Asante Susan. Kuna Victor Jaika. Asante sana. Huyo ni MCA pia. Kuna Mwalimu Kimani. Haya. Kuna Mkoma Munyude. Kuna Sami Karanja Wakili. Asante sana. Kuna Steven Gidiga. Huyo pia ni wa hapa. Wa Muranga wanajuana hata na na mheshimiwa. Kuna kijana, kijana mzee Machachari. Steven Mbogo. Wapi? <laughs> Rafiki yetu sana. Saa zingine tunacheza golf na yeye. Sijui kama nimeruka jina lolote. Kuna hapa Oburu. Anaitwa Moses Oburu. Rafiki yetu kutoka Siaya ya Game. Uh, nani mwingine? Unajiona nasoma ile nilikuwa nayo. Wamuyu asante sana. Thank you so much. And I know there are others uh, wakati wa kuchanga tutachanga tukiwa pamoja. Na nimesema ha, haswa ya Butere tukiwa na Wetangula. Na yule mama bishop the right of the rose ukeno aliposoma message yake ilikuwa kutoka kwa uh, Mordecai the book or the teachings of Mordecai and the question aliuliza kwamba the it reached a time when the country was in a crisis and the people were asking if you do not come out to speak for your country, you will find that the challenge and the destiny of the Jews or the country in question will have been taken over by somebody else and you might regret. Take the destiny of your country in your hands. Muru awabariki. Sita sema kupita hapo. Na nitoe mchango wangu na marafiki wangu uh, Kidogo I love to malize na wale wako hapa If you are here and you are waiting for me to toa And you escort, this is the time Thank you so much, God bless you all And Sabina, well done Well done Umetueleza, this is your hometown Your home village Kongezi sana and I saw my friend Father Munene. Is he somewhere? Thank you for coming. He is one of the early fathers to bring me to Moranga. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, okay. I. Tunamweta huko bungoma baba wa Roma. Hame tufatia 100,000. Thank you. 50,000 Gikuru na Muranga team. Simon Gikuru na Muranga team 50,000. Thank you so much. 
Mheshimiwa Adagala 30000 Steven Gibiga rafiki yangu kwa muda mrefu 100000 shillings thank you Victor Jaika 5000 Father Munene 15000 thank you so much Aya, nadhani tumemaliza. Sasa ushukani ni wako. Yes. Thank you for being patient. God bless you all and for the young girls you shall succeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.